Okay, real quick. This is April the 9th. This is just one day before turkey season opens in my state, state of North Carolina. And uh, we have had four days in a row of just solid sunshine. Temperatures have been in the 60s and the 70s. And you talk about a green up. Things are starting to turn green uh, around the house. But I'm sure they're doing the same thing in the woods. But for tonight, they're forecasting 90% chance of rain starting about, I think, 3 a.m. this morning. Or, or tomorrow morning, rather. All day tomorrow. So it doesn't matter. You know, they, you could, they can get the forecast wrong. We know that, right? It's the only job you can have that you can be wrong most of the time and still keep it. Yeah, I'm just making fun of the weather forecasters, but we're going to come in tonight, and basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to try to roost a bird just in case it doesn't rain anymore. If it doesn't rain and I got a, I've got a bird roosted, then I've got a really good shot of getting in position. You know, once again, I'm hunting public land. This is North Carolina game land, so I'm, I've got to get in really early to get everything set up. That's the game plan for tonight. And we've been doing all the scouting. We've done the food source videos, you know, talking about the acorns and things like that and the steep ridges, finding the areas they like to roost in. We've done a shotgun patterning. And we went over real briefly the calls. I know that was a real high-level uh, introduction to calls. But I'm telling you, you can use one call to yelp, and you can kill a lot of birds with it. So uh, we're just going to come in here tonight, and we're going to try to roost some birds. Maybe we'll get something to gobble. Walked up this little ridge. And you can hear the creek. I don't know if you can hear the creek or not, but the creek is down below us. And there's a bird gobbling there. And there's one down here, so there's actually, there's actually two birds. Birds I haven't even done an owl call yet, and they're already gobbling. So I've seen that in the past. Sometimes I'll gobble. He just gobbled again. Okay, it's uh, opening day of turkey season. And if you remember, we roosted that bird last night. Actually, there were two birds roosted. One was a little lower than the other one. And it's it's sprinkling this morning, but I looked at the radar and it looks like there's gonna be a small window of opportunity before the rain sets in. I actually looked out this morning, saw a few stars. Now it's it's clouded back up again. So, uh, we I don't know. It's, it's going to be one of those things that it's a gamble either way, but you hate not to go in there. So we're going to go in that into the area that we heard the bird last night. That's going to be probably a 45 minute hike. And, uh, we're just going to try to circle around get above him and, uh, make some yelps. We're just going to use the yelp. We'll show you how, uh, beneficial the yelp is and what it can do as far as turkey hunting. But, uh, we're going to give it a shot this morning. We'll see what happens. Hopefully the, the uh, rain will hold off and uh, we can get this bird on the ground. I don't know if you can see the disgust on my face. We finally got to the top of this mountain after an hour and a half hiking. And I wanted to get up here and I was going to yelp. And when I came over to this little bowl, the tom was already on the ground. He was down in there. I guess you can figure out what happened next. Gone. That is frustrating. Now, I know there were two on this ridge. There's only one bird in here. So I'm going to set up right here. Actually, I'm going to get in this little bowl like he was out of the wind. And I'm just going to start calling. Maybe that other bird come in. We'll see what happens. That's the thing about turkey hunting. It's like deer hunting. you got to stick with it. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it don't. We got in here 
and we did hear a bird gobble gobble twice but I saw a hen and evidently the hen got with the, the tom and they moved out so I've stayed in this spot for you know just a little over 30 minutes so now I'm gonna make a move so I hope the rain's gonna hold off but that's why you do your scouting you find some different locations so we're gonna go to some other locations that we found on this one piece of public land that we're hunting on. We're hunting on North Carolina game lands. Okay, we've got uh, there's some more hunters in here. I saw some lights coming in the, this morning. When I came in, I was ahead of them. And I think I heard them calling. <laughs> so there's a very good likelihood we're gonna be on the same bird, but we'll see what happens. a long sock. I think I got him. I'll go over there and see. Honestly, I don't know what to say after that. That was one of the most grueling hunts that I've been on. I mean, you saw the footage last night. Roosted those birds. We came in this morning and it was an, I mean, it was an incredibly difficult hike to get in here. I don't know how many miles I hiked up, but the elevation was super steep. You could tell by the pictures. And I got where I wanted to be, but I was just a little late. And I spooked a bird and I was like, it's all over with, but you know, you just gotta be determined and stick with it. So I got down on that little 
There's a little boy that wasn't quite a holler out of the wind. I sat there and called for 30 minutes, didn't see anything. I said, well, I'll get up and I'll move somewhere else. To one of the other spots, you know, we'd done the preseason turkey scouting and we knew where the acorns were at, we knew where the scratch sign was at, you know. So I said, well, I'll go to another location. Well, en route to the other location, I heard a bird. And I tried to video it. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. So I went in that direction. And lo and behold, as I was going there, some birds come down in between me and the other bird. So I'm like, okay, bird in the hand, right? So I didn't have time to put my mouth call in, get my box call out, it's still here. So I just called with my mouth, you know. And it respond the, the birds responded. So I got set up. I didn't move, I just stayed where I was at. You know, several minutes went by, they gobbled, they're not moving. So I said, okay, they got hens with them. So I don't know if you can get it on, if I got it all on my camera or not, but I had the camera attached to my shotgun. I crawled probably 50 yards or more in three different segments. I crawled, stopped, called, and they responded. I was just still doing my mouth call. And all I was doing was yelps. And it sounded like more than one bird, but I couldn't tell. I didn't know if the bird was just double gobbling or what. But uh, wouldn't move. And I never saw them. So I crawled some more. Another 15, you know, so yards. Set up, called, nothing happened. And then I just started doing the old scratch call and they responded, or the bird responded. It still wouldn't come out. So that final third leg of my, my crawl, I crawled over and I was like, they've gotta be in here somewhere. I'm, and I have my gun to my right. It always happens that way. And I'm crouched down looking. And about that time I see one head two heads i'm like oh no i'm busted and fortunately i have my face mask on and i was down low and i just froze and we're probably 30 yards apart and i didn't move one went by the second one went by and the third one went by and it was a big cluster of trees and when that cluster they got behind that cluster of trees got the gun and i hope i got the camera on i don't know if i got the footage or not i mean this is still live so put my shotgun up and i think one of them finally did see me so the back one was the one I shot. And I had to just, he was hit, his, about that much of his head and neck was above the ground. So I had to just kind of skim it across the top of that ridge. And uh, it put him down. He kind of stove piped him a little bit. So I went over there, put my foot on him, but you know, he was dead. But that, that's just an incredible hunt, you know. Just incredible. Just, you know, blessed to be out here uh, in the National Forest. Here in North Carolina, it's just incredible. You know, look at this beautiful bird. Uh, this is probably a two-year-old bird, I would, I would, I would think. He's got nice spurs on him. You know, probably seven, eight-inch beard. But it's, it's not about the beards, not about the spurs. It's about putting it all. For me, it's about putting it all together. You know, you do all that leg work, and you, you followed along with some of those videos. We, we were in here quite a bit, and. To be able to get up on three birds and then crawl to within 30 yards of them after I was probably 70 or 80 yards away because I crawled three different segments. And then to be able to get a shot is just unreal. This is uh, this is one of the most difficult turkey hunts I've been on. I've been on some real easy ones. I actually got a text from a buddy of mine. He said, quick and easy this morning. I'm thinking, boy, this one what? But a beautiful bird. I mean, it's a beautiful day. The, 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 the rain held off and uh, I'm really thankful that, you know, God bless me with a, a good hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just remember when you're out there turkey hunting, stick with it. You got to be determined. I've got this old saying, I call it peppered. And it's persistence, endurance, you know, perseverance, practice, exercise, resiliency. Uh, and then the other E is, uh, not, I've already said endurance, but expectation. And the last one's determination. So you get peppered every time you come out. And then every once in a while, you get to pepper something you, you hunt. So uh, I'm thankful for this. It's just incredible. Uh, I was glad I patterned my shotgun. I had plenty of confidence with the shot. It all worked out really good. So, you know, this is opening day. I've got to get this bird checked in. But uh, just 
couldn't be happier. Just difficult hunt. This is one of the ones where you really had to work for it, but it's, it's worth it to be able to do that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.